internet. Um, it's Monday, and um, I borrowed this from my friend. So I'm going to read some Cosmo. Uh, let's start with the cover. Yeah, on the cover alone, the word sex appears three times. This advertisement is quite interesting. If you only look at it, this part, it appears to be an ad for Pirates of the Caribbean, and then you move it up, it's for nail polish. Oh, Cosmo, you tricky little thing. What's sexy right now? Here's uh, the feature about Haley Williams. I am a big Paramore fan, so. Plus, 10 reasons he'll lose your number. Because apparently, guys will not maintain the ability to keep your number if you do any of these things. Ignoring the waitress. Forgetting to laugh. Dressing questionably. Cursing like a sailor. Planning everything. Primping for pancakes. <laughs> that one does bug me a little bit. <laughs> Taking him for granted. Talking smack. Making him your shrink. And lighting up. Although, yeah, smoke is kind of disgusting. It's a perfume ad. Not bad. Oh, this is a fun one. Sexy versus skanky. Hmm. Sexy. A topless sprint. Skanky. Getting a topless haircut. Helping a fallen photographer. Freaking out on a photographer. And I, I should just like to point out that my roommate is actually taking pictures of me right now. But no, I'm not going to freak out on her. <laughs> Peep toes and peeping toms. Raising your glass at a party. Draining the bottle at a party. Collaborating with your competition. And implying you'll kill your competition. Guys in plaid shirts. Guys in plaid skirts. Now, if the plaid skirt is a legitimate kilt, I like it. But uh, if it's a skirt skirt and it's David Hasselhoff, yeah, not for me. And playing hooky from work with your guy? Play hooky from work because of a hangover. I exposed a boyfriend stealer. <laughs> That's really something to be proud of, people. Who? <laughs> what prompts him to propose? 62%. She does something so amazing, I realize I want to be with her forever. 31%. The rest of my life is finally in order. 6%. We're both ready to have a baby, so I want to make it legit. <laughs> and 1%, she gives me an ultimatum. Now or never. Now that fails to take into account a couple other reasons to get married. But you know. Love advice from an actor we adore, being Peter Facinelli. Um, stuff about decoding guys. The whole page devoted to it. How guys really feel about your B.O. <laughs> When your stank is sexy. Um, we get it. Women worry that if a guy is too close to her, he'll be turned off by her post-gym odor. The thing is, we actually get kind of turned on by it. Yes, we like that sweat smell on a woman because there's something insanely animalistic and untamed about it. And that screams sex. Some guy watch. They've got a stud meter. Oh, look, naked men. Decoding celebrities' uh, body language. That's something that's never been done before. 75 sex moves his ex didn't do. Ooh, your secret love weapon. It's called the rubber band effect. Basically, ignore your dude and he'll want you more. That's sort of manipulative, but whatever. Is this the most satisfying sex position? Apparently it is. Analyze your flirting style. And there's a list of interesting ways to use lube. Why you shouldn't call him sweetie. When your buds are in baby comas. Oh, trust me, I'm there. All of my sisters either <clears throat> have children or are going to have children soon. 
more perfume. This is from Calvin Klein. It's called Euphoria. Yeah, I'm not feeling euphoric. Oh, the father factor. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks to Freud. 25 times you shouldn't apologize. Go ahead. Check yourself out. And then it proceeds to giving you all of the times when you look your best, apparently. Why some girls still aren't playing it safe in this about sunscreen. And which, admittedly, is very deep for Cosmo. Props. Being bullied changed my life. Yeah, being bullied tends to do that. We all know how horrible it is. <clears throat> this is probably my favorite. Killer Heels. Complete with a really nice shoe in an evidence bag. Apparently, women have been using stiletto heels as weapons. And apparently there's also a school in New York called Stiletto Spy School, which teaches you how to properly do this. I have orgasms all day long. Uh, it's a serious medical condition, people. Um, we'll leave it at that. There's a whole special about Coach Beast and the guys from Glee, which is basically just a lot of pictures of attractive women in bikinis that make me feel horrendous about my body. That's great. Fragrance fact, mint can make a hot night last longer. Oh look, a two-page advertisement for weight loss. Ooh, Cosmo Astrologer. <clears throat> I'm gonna read mine because I'm a Leo. <clears throat> You're acing every assignment at work around the third, thanks to Skill for Mercury. Start an I'm Awesome folder of accolades. It'll come in handy during the annual reviews. We don't get annual reviews. <laughs> Dating tip. With captivating Neptune ruling, you're feeling crazy confident on the 12th. Challenge yourself by stepping up at karaoke night. You'll win a cute admirer or two. Well, I've stepped up at karaoke night and I've not won any admirers or for that. So, <laughs> yeah. You're wrong, Cosmo. Big surprise there. Love advice. Close to the 21st, seductive Pluto, which apparently isn't a planet anymore, helps you bust out of, out of a sex rut. Not exactly a rut if you're not doing it at all. <laughs> Spice things up with a Saturday marathon session and see how many rooms you can do it in. Really? Oh, and look, there's even a turning him on astrology section. It's a red hot read. Pleasure Island. I love how out of the entire book, the excerpt they, excerpt they took was a sex scene. That's wonderful. It's apparently from the book Island Nights. So, there's a Cosmo quiz. Do you know when to trust your gut? That was this month's Cosmo. And I've been reading for 25 minutes. I'm going to have fun editing this down. All right. That is all. See you Wednesday.